Hello the kids, it is high, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just dealt with a couple more ambushes from marked men while also running around and seeing what we have around this general area. Answer is, apparently not a lot. Uh, there's a couple of things here, don't look like I can get into them. Uh, we checked back at where we started and there was nothing really special in the building that had the nuke next to it that miraculously did not blow up the actual building itself. Still not entirely sure how that worked, but apparently I just found a gate that I didn't notice the first time that was locked up a little bit. So, here's hoping we find something good. Missile base loading station. Oh, Mentats. I had a earlier dealt with all of my stuff at the sink you'll notice my ammo is a little bit lower i got rid of some of it just to uh, deal with the weight but right now i'm sitting at a fairly comfortable 313 which is better than where i was starting at and actually i could give some of my repair stuff that i kept god damn it every time i do that there we go give uh, the anti-material, which I'm noticing just now, and I'm surprised it only took me till just now to notice it, that material is spelled wrong. I'm not entirely sure if that was on purpose or on accident, but still, uh, funny <laughs> to notice this far in, and I'll give all of this to, well, I mean, the, that stuff, anyway, to Eddie. I could give him that, too. There we go. I'll keep the brush gun because I'm planning on running the medicine stick a little bit just to get rid of that hollow point ammunition. Alrighty. I'm hoping I don't get ambushed again, but considering the track record thus far, I am having very low hopes on that. So, we got something over here. We got some lead. It's a weird way to make lead look, but okay. Scrap metal. There we go. That makes more sense. Oops, I managed to go to the wrong one. Oopsie doodle. Uh, pick all that up. Uh, leather belt. It's always a good thing to have. Sensor module I will be keeping. Uh, stim pack, super stim pack. And all that's all good. So, oh, caravan crate. Caravan crate. What is a caravan crate doing out here? It's got scrap electronics anyway. Uh, a little further down. Oh, this looks like it's set for an ambush. Yep, I was right. Is there anything behind me? Nope. No enemies popping up behind me, so I guess it's only these mines. This one was hidden behind this fucking barrel, so of course I almost died. There we go. Anything? Nope. Just Eddie hitting the barrel. Okay, and how about this one? Oh, there we go. Turn around again. I have a feeling the further I get back here, the more likely it is that I'll be ambushed. This is very Dark Souls-esque sort of thinking, but hey. I have already been ambushed three times. I might as well <laughs> consider that part of my training. Alright, pick up. Oh. oh, Jesus! That one was hidden in between them. That's just rude. That just unnecessarily rude. But I managed to salvage most of them anyway. Jesus. Had to hide it in the middle of them? That's that's unnecessary. That is absolutely unnecessary. Jesus. Okay, well. Fuck me, I guess. Well, at least I got some of the good stuff back there. Alright. I'll just keep moving on then. Because that's really my only choice. Alright. Yeah, when the sun is up, the sand dust, the sand dust, the sandstorms <laughs> starts kicking up and it makes it really hard to see. But then when I'm at night, it's almost impossible to see anything else and it's still, you know, not having the dust storm, but it's still impossible to see things. Jesus. Okay. I just did a big old circle, but fuck it. That's what I needed to do, so that way I can make sure I've looked at all the things I needed to look at. And I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, there's that body again that popped up out of nowhere, even though I think I killed it two, three episodes ago. 
Alrighty. So I guess we gotta go this way. The arrow's pointing this way. Uh, I should probably be sneaking. Alright, um... Not seeing anything over here. I am seeing something in that trailer, though. Should probably check that out. Maybe. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> that is also a thing. Marked men guard outpost. Oh, great. That means I'm going to be ambushed here too, isn't it? Nah, that's what I'm thinking. That's uh, what it's meaning. Yep. Got some MREs. Nothing in this one. This one only had a couple things. And none of them were really good to begin with. Alright. So I'm at a guard outpost. I guess this is what they were talking about. Oh, God, I know. As soon as I walk in here, I'm going to get ambushed. I know that's going to be what happens. Yep, this is an outpost, all right. For the marked man, because there are piles of meat everywhere. Authority glasses. Back my thought, ta. Uh, I can use that to repair something, I'm sure. Yeah, let me check what I can use it to repair. Uh, medicine stick. That is a, That was a brilliant idea. I made that. A brilliant idea I had. I didn't make it. It just happened. Ah, we got some uh, some of these as well, which is fine, I guess. <laughs> it's like I already have Eddie. It's not really necessary, but it's quicker to run it through this way. So I guess it's an idea. Uh, I can't. I only see the fission battery. I can't see what the hell else that is. Egg timers. Well, okay then. What is in here? Ooh, we got cherry bombs and conductors. Take the cherry bombs. The conductors are not really necessary. Or at least for me. I uh, got a lunchbox. Got... What else is that? Paint gun. Okay. Ooh, I can use those... Uh, Abrexo cleaners if they'll come out of the box. Uh, yeah, there we go. Finally. I had to fucking jimmy the box around. Twelve times. Well, thousand more like. Uh, what's in the metal box? Ooh. I don't need the pitcher. I already have two. I don't need any more, but I can take all of these. That would all be good for me. Now, uh, because I went back to the sink and because I have the smart lights going, I, my science and all of that is still up, I think. So I'm going to have to double check that when I get into the workbench. Uh, got empty syringe. Uh don't need the pitcher. I'll take everything else though. Uh, scalpel, electronics, and glue. Alright, uh, it was weird how the fucking thing was tinted though. There we go. Uh, got leather belt, scalpel, scrap metal, and wonder glue. It was still tinted as though as I was in the uh, lock picking menu. So I, whoopsie doodle. I didn't think the uh, cherry bombs would come all in one package like that. Uh, put that back. There we go. Don't need to carry all of that on my poison. Carry all those, though. Uh, military shipping crate. I uh, got some cells. Don't need the missiles or the flame fuel. Actually, I could use the, um, missiles for now. Uh, yeah, I don't need to do much else. Uh, break down those just so I have more lead. Because apparently that doesn't weigh as much as I thought it did. So, uh, fuck me, I guess. Um, can I re... I don't have any to recharge. Huh. I didn't realize I could make more. I'll just make more then. And break that down. Uh, make that. There we go. And... Yeah, I... No, my science wore off. That sucks. Uh. Oh well. That doesn't hurt me too much. Because uh, when I'm at the sink, I can always make more uh, super stim packs for the auto injects. The, uh, <laughs> the auto inject super stim packs up on my brain. Meant to say, but it decided to jumble the words up. Uh, <laughs> because at that point, it raises my science skill up by 9. So all I really need to do at that point is pop a mentat, and then boom, I can make it. So. There we go. That's a thing I can do. At least 
later on. Whoops. Didn't read that as empty until I already hit the button. Okay. What do we got over here? Nothing too special. Am I getting ambushed yet? Because that's a thing that usually happens when the name of the place has marked men in it. Just saying. No. Nothing. Okay, the red symbol means that I will be ambushed. And there's a couple people now. At least a couple people that are pipping on my radar. Okay, what's the scared beeping for? You don't need to be doing the scared beeping. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get at them from this angle. Nope, I fell. God damn it. Alright, well... The red symbol means that there are enemies, so yippee for me. Just gotta make sure I get there without attracting too much attention. I'm hoping talking loudly does not do that, even though I know that this game doesn't have that functionality with the microphone. I still have it installed in my headset. And it still makes me uncomfortable, nonetheless. Okay. Might be able to get this guy before the other guy knows what's coming. Yep. Okay. How did I not kill this guy? Oh, I'm hitting the fucking thing. Okay, god damn it all. Alright, well. God. God, let me hit the bastard. Come on. Go for the head. Jesus. I'm doing body shots and I'm not hitting a damn thing. There we go. This is why in the late game I end up relying on vats, because it's so much easier. Uh, I got a marksman carbine. Okay, that's fine with me. Doesn't do much damage in the first place. And... Shit. I thought that would kill him. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. Pot shots is really all I can do at this point. There we go. Right in the back. Alright, well, at least I know that he can't die on me while I'm trying to run around. There we go, I'll take that super sledge. Those are valuable as shit. Um, managed to get the guy with a brush gun right off. That's good. Beautiful. Alright, I'll take those. I'll take the brush gun. At least I didn't have that firing on me the entire time. Oh, I'm really close to a nuke. I am really close to a warhead. That is not good for me. I'm going to take all of these. Because uh, why not? Uh, marksman carbine. Might as well carry it on my person. Right now. Um, is there something over here? Doesn't look like it, but then again, I can't see much of anything. Blue. Means there's something good. That is red, so that means there's going to be enemies over there. Okay, blue was for the caches, right? Or was it for booby traps? I don't know. I don't remember. Ah! It was for the caches. Yeah, yep. It looks like it's for the caches. That noise. Oh, that's the pipe. For wider. Okay, well... Got the bed over here. A place to rest, at least. And we got log from Ulysses. 1721. Is that the first one? Or is that one of a couple that I've missed? I don't know. Maybe I should find out. I have the time, don't I? Yeah. Alright, let's go to the misc. Alright. Emptiness here, like the sands of the great salt lake, echoed the beating in the divide sky, like storm drums of the white legs. Ran with them on the salt beds at Kaisar's command. Cut the throats of the two-headed bear, cut all communities off. You storm, sky, disease, fire, starvation, and the violence of the ignorant to ruin all who could, might, stand against him. Uh, okay. But the white legs, 
they couldn't live on their own, like most scavengers. Yeah. So gave them purpose, turned their hunger into a weapon. The wall of new Canaan, too high for Kaiser, too proud maybe, or maybe something there from his past that needed killing. Memory of Graham helped them dig out Canaan's supply caches and other secrets the Sands hid. Bunkers filled with powered weapons even the Brotherhood might desire. They call these new weapons storm drums in the firing of shells. Taught them the power in the casings to channel the spirits in their guns. Me. They called me the flag bearer. Glory in my hand, in my staff that still bore the weight of the old world, just as the symbol on my back did. I learned their weapons as a means of respect, and when it came their turn to pay respect to me, history came rushing back. Can't escape what's been done. History's there, no matter how far you walk. All right, that's that was a lot of info and a lot to unpack. Um, first off, we should start with he is mentioning the White Legs, who he did interact with, apparently training them to uh, rush New Canaan, which is why we ended up seeing the New Canaanites in the condition they were in when we were in Zion. Uh, apparently, they were choosing to try and cut off supply routes to the uh, NCR, one of them being through New Canaan, and a very valuable one at that. So they decided to go after them, and apparently it was very successful, because, well, the White Legs couldn't handle life on their own, they needed to take from others, and that's the best way to do it, is to turn that into a weapon, and make them just a a dagger, more or less, to stab into the side of, well, your biggest opponents, and that's definitely a way to do that. Um, apparently, uh, he started using most of their weapons as a sign of respect, but apparently they did something in respect to him that did not sit right with him. And I know what that is, but I'm not going to tell you guys quite yet. We'll eventually get to that in a later tape. So it looks like this is one of the first ones in the series, because I don't remember finding this on my own in my file. And I'm pretty sure I had missed a couple of them in my file, so that is apparently the first one I never heard. So, yeah, that is... That is basically confirmation that... Uh, New Canaan was attacked by the White Legs because they were trained by Kaisar to try and cut off a supply route for the NCR, which ended up working, at least a little bit. Okay. Now that I said that, oh, there's a knife there. I could use these for things, eventually. Um, oh, jeez. I'm starting to think I should get rid of that, and I'm going to do that right now. Wait, first probably make sure there's nothing too valuable in that area before I blow it up because some of it might be gone um radix there we go uh, let's get some rad away in me too because my radiation was pretty high um nothing really too special I was making sure because oh never mind there's this some good stuff uh scalpel warehouse stash key Where's the warehouse? Huh. That's a... Uh, that's a new one I don't remember. Huh. Alright, well, I'm going to grab what I can here before I leave and blow up that thing. Bone saw. That's probably not a good thing for me to pick up. Jeez, there's still bits of meat everywhere. Okay. Time to move back. That was a weird sound. It sounded like a chittering, uh squirrel or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to blow this thing up. Okay. There we go. Oh. Well, that was a lot of explosions. 
don't think it affected much. Of, if anything. Oh! Open these. That I don't remember being here. Whoop. Give me a second. Well, that was a thing. Okay. Um, gonna grab all of this real quick. And I'm gonna end the episode as quickly as possible. Because, well, there's not much else I can do here. Whoops, I grabbed a bit too much. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we, we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only stray cat playing games, finding caches, and dealing with marked men. Sometimes sneakily, sometimes not for you.